We've been talking about how to sell tree preservation, and uh, we are preparing you for contact number two, where you're going to go out to the customer's um, home site or business site or wherever they have called you to for the problem, and you're going to basically charge a consultation fee based upon the tools you bring to the job to analyze and diagnose these problems and relate it to them. And so let me go over them quickly and you'll see exactly what we use and have accumulated over the last uh, 10, 15 years of uh, our work in tree preservation and you can use them too. We've got a linear tape here, Lufkin tape, and uh, it's uh, 100 feet long. We've got knee pads that we use to protect your knees and your clothes and also to give you some protection because you never know what's been placed in the critical root zone of these trees when you're crawling around to expose the collar, look at anchor roots, and try to uh, expose disease and rot. We've got a rollout measurement, measurement right here that comes in an extendable piece right here. It can be reset, go zero to any number of up to a thousand feet and we use this to measure the distance from the driveway to the subject tree because we've only got 300 feet worth of hose on our equipment and we want to make sure that we can get close enough to the subject trees to uh, get them done. Here's one of our most popular digging tools. We use this to pull dirt away from the root collars and also to dig in the dirt to find out exactly what is down there. This is our sounding mallet that we use for finding hollow spaces and also for any kinds of uh, dead blow work that we need to uh, cut or penetrate something. We've got a silky saw here that is well packed and it is something that really is useful. There's nothing that this won't go. This is a tri-edge. It's especially useful. It's a, uh, a good tool to have to cut through roots when you can't get to a part of the tree that you want to because you're being uh, blocked by the uh, proliferation of roots that are growing under the soil. Here is a DBH tape. This converts uh, circumference, the distance around the tree, into diameter through the tree without having to do any math or anything at all. You just measure it around and it gives you the exact number of inches that are DBH and all your calculations are based on diameter at breast height. You're going to need this measurement. We have a tool here that is tempered steel, very, very tough stuff, and we use it to pry bark loose that when we find a hollow space with this and we want to find out how deep it is, we'll use this tool or we'll use this tool here to dig into it, pry the bark away, and expose it and, and know exactly what's going on. We've got a field microscope that comes in uh, two parts. It's made by Pentax. It is a, uh, we found it to be very useful because many of the insects, mites and galls and, and other types of uh, uh, leaf infesting, defoliating type insects are almost invisible to the naked eye. And if you can pull this out, uh, it's uh, easy to put together. You take your two caps off and uh, bingo, you're ready and you put it down and it, uh, with a little uh, bit of practice, uh, it uh, will uh, give you a microscopic look at the insect that you happen to be finding. We have a clinometer, and when you learn how to use this baby, it'll tell you exactly how tall a tree is. We use this right here to measure a 100 foot distance back from it, and then away you go. We have two other tools that are actually my most used tools. And this is a core sampler, has uh, the soil horizons that are demonstrated. We've got a little tool here that we use to poke the dirt out of the end of it. We have an additional tool that's called a penetrometer. This is probably the most expensive one out of all of it. Uh, it might cost you a couple of hundred bucks, but this is what I usually put in the customer's hand and have that person try and drive it into the ground because Many times we can only get this much into the ground. And if they wonder why their tree is suffering, this is all about your consultation. You're there to give them information about why this tree is getting sick. 
why this tree doesn't look good. And one of the first uh, areas you're going to find is compacted soil. And this is very, very good. It has a scale here that if they can't push it in and the needle goes to red, uh, it's already too tight for root growth. We have a couple of markers that we use. This is flag with a staple that we use. You just take a small strip of this tape and with a staple right here, boom, you can take it, put a little piece at the bottom, and that way only you and the owner know which trees are marked for treatment. It doesn't confuse any of the neighbors that are coming by and they see this. We also use tags. This is a metal tag. One is aluminum. One is anodized with uh, blue coloring and we uh, uh, can put this in the tree and it is semi-permanent and uh, it is great for our tree resource surveys that we use where when we go into a person's yard and they have 60, 70, 80 trees and have no idea of what to do with them and don't have a plan, that's one of the first things we offer is a survey where we tag, number, give them an inventory, tell them which ones are covered and smothered with their um, uh, volcano mulching and root collars and uh, give them a real uh, uh, idea about what is in store for them to get their landscape into shape. Here's a scratcher, here's a spade, you all know what those are about and so we've got uh, in addition to that I've got my hard hat and uh, we've got uh, ear protection, eye protection uh, to uh, keep you in very good shape and I would recommend that you use all of these tools when we show up Put them in your duffel bag, put them in a bucket. You'll see me using them uh, out there in the neighborhood right now. Let's take these tools out there and give you an idea of how you can convert these tools into a consultation fee that can be anywhere from $50 to $150. And this is what you're going to use to do it.